Isaac Larson, Isaac Storm, A Man, A Time, and the Deadliest Hurricane in History. Embark on a journey that takes you back to the year 1900, when Galveston, Texas experienced the deadliest hurricane in American history. In Isaac Storm, A Man, A Time, and the Deadliest Hurricane in History by Eric Larson, explore the life of Isaac Klein, one of the Weather Bureau's top employees, whose confidence in his knowledge of hurricanes would prove tragically misplaced. The book delves into the rise of the Weather Bureau, the science of hurricanes, and the immense human cost of the disaster that befell the city of Galveston. Discover the true extent of the catastrophe, the mistakes that led to it, and the lasting impact it had on the city and those who called it home. Isaac Klein's Rise Isaac Klein quickly became one of the most sought-after agents of the Federal Weather Bureau after joining the Signal Corps at its inception in 1882. Despite the Bureau facing many operational and reputational challenges, Isaac's diligent work ethic and scientific expertise helped to counter the scandals. His capability and effectiveness were recognized, and he was eventually placed in charge of the Bureau station in Galveston, Texas, in 1889. The Hurricane That Defied Predictions In the 1890s, Isaac Klein, a prominent meteorologist, made a bold prediction that Galveston Island would never be threatened by hurricanes. Despite evidence to the contrary, Isaac was confident that cyclones always turned north and would not enter the Gulf of Mexico. However, this prediction would prove costly as Galveston Island was hit by the deadliest hurricane in U.S. history just a few years later. Despite his expertise in recognizing weather patterns, Isaac's overconfidence in his prediction serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of ignoring contradictory evidence. Isaac Klein, the Weatherman Isaac Klein and his younger brother Joseph were residents of Galveston Town in the late 1800s. As a skilled weather forecaster, Isaac shone brightly while working for the local weather bureau station. Meanwhile, the Cuban branch of the bureau had become a troublesome area that needed urgent reform. Following embarrassing weather prediction failures, the bureau's chief, Willis Moore, lost trust in the Cuban forecasters. Consequently, he had the government block all outgoing weather cables from the island. The Deadly Hurricane of 1900 the Cuban meteorologists warned of the approaching cyclone, but their reports were silenced. Despite some warnings, the hurricane hit Galveston, Texas, with little warning, causing extensive damage and loss of life. Galveston Hurricane, Seeking Safety in the Shadow of the Storm As the Galveston hurricane brewed and bore down on the city, people scrambled to find safe shelters. The secretary of the local YMCA urged his family to take refuge in the well-built building, but his wife insisted on staying together. Meanwhile, a storm warning reached other families, leading to various responses, from trying to fortify their homes, to seeking refuge on higher floors, or moving to safer areas. Despite initial assurances of safe shelter, the storm overwhelmed the town, causing widespread damage, flooding, and loss of lives. Hurricane Horror As Hurricane hit the Galveston coastline with its intense strength, families struggled for survival as the wind shifted and water flowed in from two directions. The Palmer family found themselves lifted off their foundation and into the deep water. Meanwhile, a debate between Isaac and Joseph ensued over the safety of their house as the water level rose by 15 feet. The hurricane didn't spare anyone as families fought to stay alive in the midst of one of the most challenging natural calamities in history. The Tale of Survival After a devastating hurricane hit, Isaac and his family were left stranded with little hope of survival. Isaac's home collapsed, leaving him and his family struggling in the storm. Joseph, one of Isaac's neighbors, managed to save some of the children from the wreckage, but the family was still incomplete. Isaac and the rest of his family were swept away by the floodwaters, surrounded by the remnants of their home, but with little hope of staying alive. After many hours of drifting and suffering injuries, they finally found refuge in a still-standing house. However, it was not until the next morning that they were relieved to hear the sound of church bells, providing hope that they were not alone. 
The key takeaway from the story is that surviving a catastrophic event requires both persistence and luck. The Tragic Aftermath of Galveston Hurricane The Galveston Hurricane of 1900 was one of the deadliest disasters in the U.S. The exact number of casualties is uncertain, with estimates varying between 6,000 to 10,000. The aftermath was grueling as the stench of dead bodies lingered for days and bodies kept washing up ashore. Burning became the only viable method of disposal as hundreds of fires still burned throughout the city. One survivor, Isaac, held on to hope that his wife Cora would be found alive but eventually found closure when he was reunited with her remains and engagement ring. Despite this, he struggled with his role in the disaster and the mysteries surrounding it still remain. Galveston's Catastrophic Hurricane In 1900, Galveston was a city competing with Houston to be the port city of choice for ships traveling the Gulf Coast. However, on September 8 of that year, a unique hurricane with unprecedented strength hit the city, altering its future forever. The hurricane produced a record low barometer reading of 28.48 inches, which was previously thought to be impossible. The startling occurrence signaled something dramatic had happened. It suggested that the storm encountered a loop current in the Gulf of Mexico, which strengthened the hurricane by supplying it with an infinite source of heat. Galveston was never the same after the storm, and the city lost its promising future to Houston. Nevertheless, the city rebuilt and completed a seawall in 1910, which provided protection against future storms and hurricanes. In the aftermath of the Galveston hurricane of 1900, thousands of lives were lost, and the city's trajectory was forever altered. Isaac Storm highlights the role of scientific hubris, bureaucratic missteps, and a lack of understanding of the true nature of hurricanes in this tragic event. Eric Larson's riveting tale serves as a cautionary reminder of the importance of humility in the face of nature's unpredictability and the need for constant learning to prevent future disasters. As we continue to study and predict extreme weather events, it is crucial to remember the lessons of the past and strive for a more accurate understanding of the forces that shape our world.